Eyeing an Indiana State bounce back, I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. With their magical mystery tour to Des Moines and firmly in the rearview mirror, the University of Evansville men's basketball team is eyeing a rebound game of sorts as they take on the Sycamores at the Ford Center Wednesday night. However, their arch rivals from Terre Haute will give them all they can handle. I think it could be 6-0 and oh with a break here, break there. I mean, they're... they're uh... Very, very talented team. Their two guards are as good as any two guards maybe in the country. I mean, Barnes is a, is a phenomenal player in that uh, you got great court awareness. Uh, he handles the ball extremely well, has the ability to get guys open around him, and he makes, he makes tough shots. I mean, he's a competitive young man. Uh, I, I, he's a terrific player. Scott, Scott's been terrific since he walked on that campus. Seems like he's been there eight years just really really aggressive uh can shoot it from beyond the nba range uh really aggressive off the dribble i mean he's got all the great one-on-one -on -one moves uh can get to the free throw line just a, a a terrific you know basketball player uh and and the guy that you know murphy the big guy inside has done a great job i mean he's he's playing really aggressive they're getting the ball inside to him and rickman both I mean, they're both scoring, they're putting up good numbers, they're great offensive rebounders, they seal and get position. Uh, you know, the guy that, that hasn't been playing is Davis. He's missed the last two games. I believe he's a, a graduate transfer that you know brings experience, athleticism. I mean, they've got a lot of really good pieces. They're always well coached. They run their stuff offensively extremely well. Uh, they've got a lot of guys that can shoot the three. They've got a great inside threat. And then defensively, they're really, you know, getting out and pressuring, applying the pressure. They're hard to score against. So, uh, you know, in my opinion, we're playing one of the one of the top teams in the league. Um, I think they're just really strong, especially on offense. I mean, they got they kind of can come at you from a lot of different ways. They're big guys, Murphy and Rickman. I think they're both scoring the ball really well on their catches in the post. And they have Barnes, Scott, and Key all out on the perimeter that are also scoring the ball really well. So I think they're a tough matchup whenever it comes. Like, we're just going to have to make sure that we're sitting down and guarding the ball and that we're also um, just kind of buying into the, the different things that the coaches are telling us. A really good offensive team. You know, Barnes, Scott, Murphy inside, they can fill it up. Barnes, he shoots it from any, anywhere. You know, we've played Scott the last four years. He's, he's probably one of the best offensive players in, in the league. Um, you know, they're really well coached. They get after on defense. They probably know us better than any, any Valley team. You know, we call it a play. It seems like they know it. You know, we've been playing each other so long. Uh, you know, every game seems to be hard fought, almost like a boxing match. It's going to go 15 rounds. And uh, we just got to prepare for that, you know, get ready, you know, get ready to go into a battle. Really, really good offensive team. You know, they, they got a balance. They, they go inside a lot. You know, they got two good guards with Barnes and Scott. They are very aggressive. They, they score a lot of points, so we just got to be ready to guard those two guys. That they're good offensively, and we just got to stop their key guys and make it hard for them um, and make sure that we execute defensively because that's been the, the thing all year is just make sure we play good defense and we play good defense we win games. Now, despite all that talent, much like Evansville, Indiana State has rode a roller coaster all season long, opening with a shocking 21-point upset win over Indiana, as well as double-digit victories over Air Force and Green Bay. However, that's tempered with the heartbreaking losses to conference rivals Illinois State, Drake, and Missouri State. So what's the key to Wednesday night's showdown with the Sycamores? Effort. I mean, effort. That's, that's the number one thing. I know Indiana State's going to come in here and they're going to compete. I mean, they always do. Our ability to 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 you know get back to to playing as hard as we were, uh, you know, attention to detail, uh, really really competing. You know, you're not you're not going to uh, eliminate any of their guys. They've got good they've got good players, but our ability to to, to challenge and compete and uh, you know play for each other. What do you think the the one key to tomorrow? Uh, I think it's just going to be our effort. I think it's just going to be how hard that we're going to come out and play. I think that if we're going to come out and we're going to play as hard as we can for 40 minutes, I think that we'll get a good result. But I think if we come out flat like we did at the Drake game, then uh, it'll definitely be a tough game. Getting off to a good start. Yeah. Yeah. Part of the part of the whole. Pretty much, yeah. Getting off to a good start. You know, try not to dig ourselves in a hole like last game. Just learn from that. Getting stops early, uh, making sure that they're not getting off to a good start, and we are. 
The key, I would say defensively, you know, get Barnes and Scott, try to make them uncomfortable, try to make them see two or three guys defensively, load the gaps, make them shoot tough shots, because they're going to score. You know, they're scorers, they're going to get baskets. Limit, you know, limit their offensive touches, try not to foul them, you know, try to make them, you know, can't give up easy free throws. Offensively, you know, screen, cut hard, play as a team. Uh, you know, when we get stops, run in transition, there's going to be a lot of keys, but I think it starts on the defensive end. We need great effort, no doubt about it. I mean, that's where it starts with us, and I think every coach in America would be that way. I mean, I, you know, the harder we play, uh, you know, it allows you to play through mistakes. Uh, you know, that second, third, and fourth effort where you're flying around, helping each other, uh, diving on the floor for loose balls, you know, competing, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's when we've been the most successful, and I think really that's when our guys have enjoyed, you know, playing together the most. Tip-off between the Aces and the Sycamores is at 7 o'clock at the Ford Center Wednesday night, and we, of course, will have the game on the Valley on ESPN3. We'll also have all the post-game reaction on the Aces Insta Replay post-game report. But for the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Downs. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.